all right boys and girls this is going to be our final look video basically we got a little bit of news that has come out over the last day or so the last 24 hours as far as injuries and quarterbacks and receivers and running backs that might start or not start so we got a little bit more information to deal with i'm gonna just i'm a gloss i'm a gloss over the players we already went over the last video and then i'll touch on some new players that look a lot better with all the injuries going on or who i'm who i might not have um said in my last video <sighs> we got jackson obviously we touched on that already but the more i think about it how both of these guys prescott and jackson this is like a must win i mean for them it's like a must win game for them i expect both of them to put their best foot forward and i'm looking i'm thinking this game is going to be a high scoring game so i'm actually liking this stack more than i did when i made the first video um same thing with hurts looking i'm looking at a little shootout here i'm I'm gonna play for a shootout hopefully it if it if this game shoots out i'll be ready for it i'm cashing that's that's basically what you want to do put yourself in a position where if your game script is correct you know you're going home with the money the reason i say this two three times a video is because it works it's not sexy it doesn't sound cute but it works um we, sp we spoke about Mario already richardson as an as richardson naked i think Pittman is going to be out um fire up pierce we know all that prescott we spoke about golf I think I built a I think I started the building lineup with golf. So we like him. No tour for Miami. What are we gonna do in Miami? Um a chain is gonna pop crazy in your in your projections, in your simulators, stimulators, whatever it is your optimizers. Um stimulators, Jesus. But um the thing with the thing with a chain, hill, waddle the weapons from Miami is that without Tua, it's, it's not that they can't they can't produce the same, but you got to understand it in the NFL that the passing game opens up the running game, and the running game opens up the passing game. So if that backup quarterback from Miami can't get things going, or he can't um hit these guys on some slants or, or some short passes and let them break some tackles it's gonna be a long night so a chain is not a chain is not the the easy pick that i think he is like you might think he's spectacular at first glance yeah he, do, he does seem spectacular but um it could also backfire so Basically, what I'm saying is I'm not gonna have a chain in every lineup. I do like him. I'm not saying, but I'm not gonna. He's not. He's not a gamey like that. He looks like that. He appears to be on paper. That's all I'm saying. Um, Baker Mayfield. I'll continue playing Baker Mayfield stacks. No love. Love is supposed to be out. Um, I think Willis is gonna take his spot. Malik is gonna take his spot. We'll get to him in a second. Um, not really interested in Green Bay against Tennessee. There's a there's so many other spectacular plays. There's no real need for me to play with that game. To be honest with you, um, you got Purdy. Obviously, no McCaffrey, no Kittle, no Debo. Mason looks spectacular. Um. And Ayuk. Ayuk looks a lot better this week. So give me, give me Mason. Give me Ayuk. I don't think I need Purdy. If you, if you play Purdy, your lineup would definitely be different. I don't think we need him. Because like I said, there's a lot of there's a lot of players in spectacular spots that unless they get hurt, they're gonna put up prime DFS numbers. So I'm not even trying to play around on this slate. This is one slate. I'm not playing around. Car. Give me Derek Carr stacks. Stafford. <laughs> P 
pretty sure I touched on this already. I can't do it. I'm going to leave that alone. I know you got Robinson. You got Atwell. I don't look. You're playing a lot of lineups. You want to throw Stafford, Robinson, and Atwell um, as a stack in one of your, in one of your lineups, and you're playing a lot of lineups. I like that. But if it's your one and only lineup, you're playing Stafford, and Robinson, and whoever else, that could go wrong. That could get ugly also. You know what I'm saying? So just be careful with the, the Rams stacks. I don't really want any parts of um, the Chargers or Pittsburgh. I don't want no parts of Caleb Williams, to be honest with you. Not on this slate. Chino Smith, I don't really mind. Watson, I'm no thank you. Darnold, you know, it's funny. Like, I immediately, like, that's the word I'm looking for. Like, I rebuke Sam Darnold, but not not, not really. Like, I, I, like I put my hand up against him. Like, I don't want him in my lineups. But then I, I remember when he was on the Jets that he did have a lot of upside. He did have a lot of potential. And now you're actually seeing it. You're actually seeing what he's capable of. So I'm really get, getting my feelings out of it and and recognizing that Darnold could be a good play. So I'm I'm on Darnold right now at 5,500. If I get to him, I don't know if I'm going to get to him. But he's in my player pool. Fields against the Chargers. Don't think I need that. Minshew. I wouldn't mind it, but that's got to be a heavy Raiders stack. Give me um, <laughs> give me um. I can't even think. Adams and Bowers. If we're gonna do that, I don't think you need Minshew though. But for those of you going to be playing a lot, a lot of lineups, then I've got it. Daniel Jones, no thank you. The rest of these guys, no thank you. And Malik Willis, we know he does have a little bit of an upside with his feet. But to be honest with you, not on this slate. No, nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm not even going to do it for fun. So, no thank you. The rest of these guys are unplayable. All right, so we spoke on Ayuk, right? We spoke on Ayuk. Hold on, let's go to running back. I'm not going to make this a long video, but I just want to make sure I touch on certain people. So we know Barkley, Kamara, Taylor, obvious plays. Williams going to get a lot of touches. A chain, I spoke on, on, I spoke on him briefly going up against Seattle. He is a good play, but it could, it could go the wrong way. Gibbs, you could take that shot. Jacobs, Connor, Henry, Dobbins, all in play. We know that. No problem. Mason, probably too cheap. Charbonnet, 6K against Miami. You might have to fire them up. Pollard, 6K. These guys are a little, a little cheap. These guys are a little cheap. Um... Aaron Jones, I don't mind. Ford, I don't mind. We got Cam Akers somewhere down here. Obviously, everybody in the industry is going to tell you to play Cam Akers, so you guys to know about that by now. I like him for value, you know, so he helps me get other pieces in my lineup. Obviously, if I'm repeating myself from the previous video on certain players, then... It's because we're going to have people watching this video that didn't see the last one. So, that's why. The rest, look, I, I'm going to be very honest with you. There's a lot of quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers in spectacular spots. And if you just add the right value piece, like, it's not, the, it's not, that, complicate, not that complicated. If you don't complicate your value piece, this is easy money. And your play doesn't get hurt. Injuries is the biggest thing in football. Um, I'm not gonna. Re I'm not playing anyone down here. There's really no need to. All right, let's go to wide receiver. If I didn't mention a player that you like, just throw it in the chat. Um. Lamb Jefferson. 
St. Brown, very obvious plays. Hill is going to definitely be um, under-owned because of what I just told you earlier. I doubt people play him like that without without Tua. But like I said, if they give him little, you know, little short, short passes and he could take it, you know, he could take it. Take it down to, you know, take it. What's the word I'm looking for? If he could just run with it, then he, he could pick up some fantasy points. That's what I'm looking at in my head. That's how I'm looking. That's how I'm trying to picture it in my head. I'm trying to figure out how Tyree Hill is going to have a big game. Um, obviously, he can catch anything in his, you know, in his space. What, but will the quarterback be able to make those type of throws? That's the question. If you believe he could, fire up Hill. If you believe he can't, I'm trying to figure out another way Hill is going to get these fantasy points or Waddle. And, and like I said, they give him some short drop-offs, and he could break a few tackles. That's what you're going to absolutely need. Adams mentioned him earlier. Harrison Jr., you already see what he's capable of. Collins, Evans, these are all obvious plays. Um, Smith, Flowers, Moore, Diggs, Godwin, my guy, Neighbors, people would. What are are going to be on him now? Sixty four hundred. Olave is pretty is due. He's he's probably going to be under on, but he's due because everybody's going to go to Saeed. Um, Matt Calf always in play. Ayu maybe too cheap for his role on this slate. Cooper's going to pop in the projections. Waddle. Could be under owned, under the radar. Ridley, I don't mind. <laughs> Pickens, Dobbs, Cooks. You can take a shot. Smith, you could take a shot. Shahid, you should know to play him already. Tank Dell, Tank Dell. Tank Dell at 52. I don't think you need him on this slate. He's not the worst player in the world. I don't think you need him. Lock it. Robinson, I spoke about earlier. Be very careful. Um, McConkey in play. Pierce, 4,800. Pittman is already out, right? Is Pittman out? I think he is. Pittman is supposed to be out from what I last read. Give me Pierce. Fire up Pierce. Um, without limitations. Da 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 da. Michael. Mm, da 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 da. I might just stick with Pierce unless I get some type of information on Downs. If he's not on a snap count or anything like that, then Downs is in play. But for right now, I'm going to just leave it at Pierce. I'm not going to get too crazy. Got Atwell that I spoke about. Could be spectacular value or could mess up your lineup. But I don't, like I said, I don't mind Atwell. If you're playing a few lineups, you're in a, you're in a, you're in a, um, you're in the GPP contest. You want to throw in Atwell. I don't mind it. But like I said, if you're playing one lineup and you're trying to play 2-2 Atwell, it could go either way. And like I said, you have a lot of other plays that are um, more guaranteed. That's all I'm saying. I'm not telling you not to play them. All right, let's go to tight end. Let's wrap this video. We got McBride, Laporta's due. Bowers is going to be my guy. Um, he's pretty much Minshew safety net. So Bowers and Adams, I'll play them every week if I have to. You feel me? Andrews and Likely, you know how I feel about them. I'm still not sure. If I play Andrews, likely he's going to get more targets. Or if I play likely, I mean, Andrews is supposed to get the targets, but likely has a little bit of an upside. Um, 
Goddard, Ferguson, Schultz, fair move, all in play as usual. I don't want nothing from Chicago, so no, no Komet for me. Okonku, I play if I'm desperate. Um, anybody else in this price range? Probably no thank you, to be honest with you. As far as defenses go, um, give me the Raiders. Give me the Niners. I like the Seahawks, but I'm not going to try to play Miami. Give me Pittsburgh. Give me Tennessee. All right. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. You know what? Let's build a lineup. Let's get let's get something going. Let's get something going. Um, what we? No, I'm not. I was gonna make a. I was gonna make a um. A Rams stack, but I'm not going to do that because I'm not playing the Rams. Let's make a Darnold stack. So you got Minnesota and Houston. So let's go with Darnold, 5,500. We're not going to be cute. We're going to just go straight to Jefferson, 8,600. Now we can run it back with Collins, or we can run it back with Diggs. Save a couple of dollars with Diggs. Collins have ha, has been having the better weeks, but um, Diggs could go off on at any week. Let's go with Diggs. Let's be a little bit different. So let's go Darnold. Let's go Jefferson. Let's go Diggs. Let's do a. Let's do a. Raiders defense. I don't think like. It's a secret to be targeting, to be targeting um the Panthers. So we're gonna target the Panthers because they're ass. So you got Bar you got Darnold, you got Jefferson, you got Diggs. Let's go back to Minnesota. Let's try to find another weapon for Darnold. So let's see how many targets. Jones, two and six. I like that. I do like that. Let's just check something else. So we got Jones that we could run with it. We got Naylor. Four targets last game. Got into the end zone. And then you have No Hawkinson, Oliver. Oliver started at tight end at two receptions. Okay, Mr. Oliver. And we had Johnny, Mr. Johnny, three targets. So let's go right back to Aaron Jones, 5,900. So we got Darnold, Jones, Jefferson, ran it back with Diggs. If you really think this game goes crazy, Throwing another um, Houston weapon, throwing a value piece, and you're good to go. Listen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to FanDuel. We'll start a lineup over there, and then we're going to go on and get out of here. You see what I'm saying? Um, if you're new here, welcome. Appreciate you taking time to watch my video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Hit the bell. Thumbs up the video. If you're struggling to cash, you need some help, no problem. I can help you. Check out the Patreon linked in the description. Check out the channel memberships right here on YouTube. Super chats are open and available. And um, let's go to FanDuel. Let's go to FanDuel. This this video was meant to be quick, just to go over like you know a few players. But since we're already here, might as well. All right, so let's go with another stack. Or it doesn't look the the. The game stacks aren't something that is etched in stone. It's just something that a lot of 
um, DFS players gravitated to started putting it out on the internet and everybody thought like that's the only way to play. It's not the only way to play because when you look at these winning lineups, they're not stacked and double stacked and it's not that it's probably a quarterback and his receiver or a quarterback, usually a, a quarterback, his receiver, a few, a few perfect value pieces and then some spend ups. That's usually how it is. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Hertz is going to be popular. I made a lineup with golf already. Purdy. I don't know why Purdy's just staring at me. What you been doing, my man? 36. Purdy. 36 pass attempts is spectacular, to be honest with you. You know what? Screw it. We're going to go to San Francisco stat. This isn't sexy, but it's a little bit of a guideline. We're going to go Purdy. We're going to go Ayu. Okay, he should be not priced too crazy. Actually, I'm not even going to run it back with a Ram. I don't think. Yeah, I am. I am. So we got Ayuk, right? So boom, we're gonna go Purdy. We're gonna go Ayuk. We're gonna go Mason, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go to Flex, and we're gonna run it back with um. So for this to make sense, we're gonna need the Rams to. Score first. So what you're looking for is Kyron Williams to have a big game, smash through the, the Niners, get into the end zone, and they be playing with a lead. And then you got Brock, Brock Purdy throwing it like crazy, playing from behind. That's that's the game script for this. You see what I'm saying? So it may not be a sexy lineup, but if you have the right game script and it goes the way you think it is, it's easy cash. Um, I don't really, I mean, it'd be lineups like these that be winning hella money, but on paper it looks crazy, but you never know. Um, where, where's the Rams at? So we go Purdy, Mason, IU, Kyron Williams. And then let's do Williams, and then we go two to Atwell. Let's say five hundred dollars. And now, what are you looking for now? Now you're looking for a little bit of a shootout. And like I said, it'd be the games that you think that um, you think the Rams are not going to have it, and they end up showing up to work. If the Rams show up to work. This lineup caches. You feel me? Listen, I'm going to get out of here. I took too much of your time already. I really do appreciate y'all taking time to watch the video. Don't forget, subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up the video. Um, If I didn't mention one of your favorites, throw it in the chat. Don't forget, uh, if you need help, if you need me to send you my lineup, check out the Patreon link in the description. Check out the channel memberships right here on YouTube. Super Chats are open. And I hope you had a profitable Saturday. I'll talk to you later. Ciao.